If I wrote my goals down as a high school student, it would be, man, if one day if I could be a head coach and compete at the highest level in Texas high school football, man, I'll take it right now. The longer you stay in football, the hard work increases, the time increases, and we can make it feel like a job. But I think the only reason why you really play football is because it's fun. If your number one goal in coaching isn't sending out quality human beings into the world, then you're missing the boat. This was what I've always wanted. Release! Hey, great catch, Eli. Great catch. I had a lot of success as a student athlete. All American, all state. Had over 34 Division I scholarship offers. Chose to go to the University of Arkansas where I played for four years. Draw formation. And there you have it. He cuts up. That was a whole lot of fun. And once my college career was over, um, I got into coaching. Got my first head coaching opportunity at Lubbock Estacado High School. We took over a struggling program. Won a district championship. I was voted coach of the year. And there was just so many accolades given to kids and coaches in our program. And because of the job we did there, had an opportunity to come to McKinney. Man, the first year had its ups and downs for sure. Throughout my life when I've had adversity, my answer was always to go harder. Go score! Go score! When we started off 0-5, I couldn't come back and just keep punching harder. Like our kids have been punched hard enough, right? They've lost every game. And so I started learning to lead with love. When you know everybody's working hard and everybody's trying to pull their own weight, the best thing to do is to come together and figure out how you're gonna get out of that and include everybody. Yeah. Oh, man, I've never been more proud to be a part of a group, a group of guys. Man, I'm telling you, most people in this world at 0 and 5, I mean, they're looking for a reason to quit. And the only thing you guys did was show up, go back to work. Take a loss, show up, go back to work. I told you guys at the beginning of the season, we can do this as long as you want to. We'll win on three. One, two, three. We'll win. What's up, Big Cam? Doing all right? Looking good, man. Keep working. Y'all make sure y'all text Coach Brian after workout. He had his little boy uh, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Glad you're here. Appreciate it. A kid will never care how much you know until he knows how much you care. I can coach my kids as hard as I want to. I have a hard time believing anybody's gonna care about them as hard as I do outside of this. We won't have a kid walk home. We won't have a kid be hungry. We, we, we keep snacks, we feed, I mean, we take care of each other. If not us, then who? I tell our coaches to coach them harder and love them harder. Let's go, let's go finish it, big fella. We enjoy being around each other. It's a family-like atmosphere. We're trying to create complete people. And we feel like if we take that approach, the football aspect of it will take care of itself. The game. I want a tough, tough group of football players. I want a tough group of coaches. I want men in my building because I know that if you have enough of the right people, um, you can accomplish anything. Hey, have a good day. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. We'll win on three. One, two, three. We'll win.